Today we have this 1936 Underwood 12 antique desktop typewriter. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. Margins are located up front. Right here and right here. And that's where you'll stop on the left side. And if you want to change it, you just move it like that. But I'm going to keep it right on the edge there. And same with this. And it's already set. You can hear that bell when you get to the end. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit the line space, get you back to the beginning. It skips one, two, or three. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, you just flip this down one, and it'll skip two when you hit this. Down one more, it'll skip three. If that works good. We're gonna keep it on single and finish typing. As you can see, all the keys type nice, and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence on the next line. Beautiful type of machine. This is a really nice condition typewriter for how old it is. 90 years old, almost. Print looks really good. It feels really good typing on this. It's like no other typewriter. It's just big, sturdy, strong. Really well designed. Really heavy. So it's made to be on a desk and not moved around too much. And it looks great. To pull the paper out easy, you just flip this switch down here and it unlocks the rollers underneath the plat and allowing you to pull the paper out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock. Make sure you flip that back up before you load the next page or else it won't load correctly. You've got a shift on each side and a shift lock on the left to clear it, you hit the opposite shift button. Carriage release on each side. This one's right in front of the knob and this one's right on top of the carriage. This little lever here will get you, if you have your margin set, if you have it set somewhere, wherever you have it set, um, normally it'll stop at that margin, but if you hit this, you can go past it. So it's like a margin release for your beginning margin. And you got a margin release for your end margin too. So you get to the end and it locks the keys. Uh, so you hit that margin release, it'll allow you to type past. This one doesn't allow you to go that far because it will end at that margin. You can't go all the way to the end like a lot of typewriters can because there's just a stop right there. This is your ribbon direction control. You push it in, it'll pull to the left. You put, pull it out, it'll pull to the right. And you can wind it like that. We have all the brand new ribbon loaded on the left side, so we want it to pull to the right. So we're going to keep that pulled out. These are your tabs. There's a few of them set. You can set, basically every space has its own tab. And I'll show you how to do that. So this is your tab button. It's basically like a space bar on the top portion of the keyboard. And um, if you want to set a tab in the middle, like right here, you just hit top, tab stop set. And then you hit that space bar, it'll stop right at that spot. And you can clear it by hitting the clear button on the left side. And now it'll go to the next tabs that are already set. One of them's half set. You just gotta clear that. Right. It's, it's okay, we can set one right there just in case somebody hits that tab button. Doesn't go slamming all the way to the end, causing wear and tear. Backspace on the left side here works great. And we'll do a 360, make sure we got everything. This little lever will disable the spacing mechanism, so when you turn it, there's no clicks, but if you push that down, you get your clicks back. Each one of those clicks is a space. That's about it. Ribbon uh, color selector is up top here. Uh, blue, white, and red. The blue will hit the top portion of the ribbon. The white, the ribbon vibrator will not go up at all. And on the left, which is a red, we'll hit the bottom portion of the ribbon. Right now we have a solid black ribbon, so we're gonna keep that on the blue section. But if you wanna install a black and red, you can, and it works good. 
Now available on eBay or Etsy, search Brooksaw Antiques.